Man, they need to be more useful around the house. I'm getting on now. Man turned 33 Ross Clark days ago. Big treat, oh, you know. So, I've been around for a little while now, and as you know already, man's an observant man. I know a lot of people in my personal life, met a lot of people. I go to a lot of people's houses on a day to day basis. Man, I work up in Northampton, do electrical testing in the tenant's stems yard in Northampton. And I've noticed, and I didn't really clock this until a couple of years ago, but I've noticed there's a lot of men in domestic dwellings, there's a lot of men in homes and houses that are fucking useless. Like, yeah, they go to work and that, but after that, they bring no value to the household, to the domestic dwelling. I didn't clock this because in my personal life, man's always had a man who's quite useful around my house. So, 30 years old now, uh, my mum's been with my stepdad since I was one years old. So he's my father figure. Um, proper old school man, cool brother. He's old school though. Um, he ain't into, like, I was so shocked the other day. My man's so old school that it took him years to get WhatsApp. I was shocked the other day. I was in my kitchen at my mum's yard, obviously, and he was talking to one of his brethren and that, and he mentioned something about TikTok. I nearly had a heart attack. Like, my stepdad's one of them type of man, like, he got annoyed because, you know, like, with the school systems and that, you have to set up emails and then things there to contact the school and do all this parent pain, all this thing. He got annoyed that my man had to even set up them things there and that, and yeah, old, proper old school man. Young, young man, like, you get me? He's the same as my mum, uh, but... Yeah, he's old school and that. Man don't do no mobile banking and them things there now. So when he mentioned the word TikTok, I was shocked. I didn't even know a man knew what TikTok was, let alone WhatsApp and that. But old school man, working man, but also a useful man at home. So my stepdad was always the type to cook and clean and that. And certain people might watch this right now and feel, what's cooking and cleaning? It's nothing, it's mine and that. In certain households, that could become an issue, you know. In certain households, where there's mum and dad, God forbid, mum goes away to auntie's house for the weekend and that. Certain people might be on the brink of starvation, let alone the house looking mad. See, my household and that, now my mum works on the weekend now. But even if like, yeah, even if my mum was at home and that, certain times my mum will take a break from the cooking on the weekend and that, and make my stepdad do it. Or, let's say for example, my mum did go away for the weekend, or even just... Oh, she's going to auntie's house. She's leaving at 9 a.m. and not going to be back till 9 p.m. Certain people, they will literally have to fend for themselves. The whole family will have to fend for themselves because the dad is useless. Yeah, he goes out to work and he brings back the bread. That's good. But God forbid mum went away on holiday for a week. They will have to fend for themselves like they're rascal, like shipwrecked. Man, they need to be more useful around the house. Like, even dumb little stuff. You know there's certain man could possibly be watching this right now, fam. There's certain man out here that don't even know how to put up a picture frame, you know. There's certain man out here right now that wouldn't know how to put up shelves on the wall or buy a bed or a wardrobe from Ikea and not know how to put it together, although there's fucking instructions. Certain man will be thinking to call the next man, you know, to put the bed together. Not, oh, call the next man because they need an extra pair of hands and that, although they got their gyal there. There's certain man... If they ever thought about painting the walls in their yard, they would think to go and pay someone to do it. Or they would think, oh, let me call my uncle, or my girl's dad, or my dad, or call my fucking mum to help me do it. There's certain man out here, they don't even possess a Black & Decker drill set. You don't need to get no Makita or no Bosch. And I know you don't know what I'm talking about because you're not a tradesman, which is cool. But the certain man, they don't even have a little idiot DIY Black & Decker drill. Even my mum has a Black & Decker drill. Well, it might be my stepdad, but yeah. My mum, my mum's quite hands-on as well. She knows how to put up blinds and them thing there. There's a lot of men right now, they wouldn't even know where to start putting up blinds. Basic things. Like, man's so useful that if my girl did live with me, if anything went wrong in the house, she would know. Jay will be on it. Jay will fix it. No worries there. I'm so useful that... Even outside my yard, man's useful. So like, I think it was two weeks ago, my mum must have phoned me. At my mum's yard back home, they installed a new toilet, the housing association. And um, anyone who's been around long enough would have experienced this before. Sometimes when a toilet gets old, 
when you flush it, it's supposed to release water into the pan and flush away all the nastiness in the toilet. And then it's supposed to stop. But sometimes it starts happening, it the water keeps running through. So after you flushed it and that, you know, 10 seconds it should have stopped. It just still keeps running. Well, they installed a new toilet and that was happening. Anyway, I just told my mum, take off the system lid and tighten this and tighten that. I'm not even a plumber, but man's got experience and I get it. I've got experience doing plumbing and that, but I'm not a qualified plumber. Um, but even that, like I'm so useful that my mum could be at her yard and she can phone me and I can fix her problems for her without even fucking showing up. Do you know how much man right now, if their mum wants to phone them, then their mum is still going to be in trouble. Their son can't offer no value, whether they're there or in fucking Egypt. Man, they need to be more useful around the house. Start learning how to do little bits and pieces around the house. Even if it's painting or whatever it is. Any little bits and pieces and that. If you don't know how to put up shelves, if you don't know how to hang a picture frame, yeah, learn. Go on YouTube. Stop watching these videos about how to get gang and start learning how to fucking do things around the house. And when you do get a girl, you can be useful in that. Man and my hair are too useless. Man out here don't even know how to fucking cook, bluff. Me, I know how to cook. Like, my girl pretty much taught me how to cook. My mum taught me one or two little things, but obviously I relied on my mum to cook when I was living at home. But when I moved away from home, obviously my girl spent a lot of time here and uh, she showed me how to cook and that. Uh, and I think sometimes she forgets uh, that I know how to cook. See, there's a couple of times when me and my girl, we fall out for a couple of weeks and that uh, she will leave a little cheeky note on my dining table. Yeah, good luck on your own. Uh, here's a list of numbers. Here's a list of Nando's and, and, and Wagamama's and that. Enjoy their food because you ain't going to be eating mine for a while and that. Uh, yeah, whatever, really. Yeah, this girl forget that I know how to rasp like, you think I'm fucking calling Nando's and that. Uh, or ordering takeaway. Man, I know how to cook a whole chicken. I've got one in the oven right now. Man know how to defend for myself. Man know how to, if, for example, I lived with my girl and she was sick and she literally could not get up and make no food and I could feed her. Certain man, if their missus is sick and she can't feed her, herself or him or the family, that's the final nail in the coffin for her. Cleaning. Certain man do not know how to clean. Not they're lazy. Lazy is one thing. Lazy is, I can't be bothered, you know what lazy means. But a certain man, they don't even understand the concept of cleaning and that. They would get bleach, thick bleach, that's concentrate and try and pour it on the surface and massage it in. They don't even understand that need to water this thing down, you know. They don't understand that it needs to be diluted. Certain man, they just don't know how to clean. Man, watch that program, my favourite program to watch. That OCD cleaner program. Love that program. And sometimes, well, all the time, the people that will go to the yard and they'll bust the front door and the yard is mad. And the people that will go inside and walk around and that, and then the rate will jump in and say, John hasn't cleaned his house since his wife left in 10 years ago. I don't know why those narrators always use those dramatic voices and that, but it fits the situation still. But the yard will be mad. And a man will use an excuse. Oh, well, you know, back in the days, uh, men never used to cook and clean. They had their wives to do it in that. Blood. Well, <laughs> this is probably why your wife left you and that you're too rascal like, lazy. Man, they need to start learning how to cook and clean. But I know why a man can't be bothered or don't know how to cook and clean. It's because of this. Too much man play on this or PlayStation. You see me, yeah? The last time I turned on my Xbox 360 was in December 2020. And for about a week, a day here and there, I was just playing the Black Ops. I don't know why I just decided to play Black Ops. And listen, if you're a guy watching this right now, if you want to play your, your Xbox or your PlayStation now, now and then, each to their own, innit? Now and then. But on a weekly basis, you should not be fucking playing video games, blood. You're 25, 30, 35, 40 years old. What are you doing still playing video games, blood? I go to tenants' yards and that, and <laughs> I'll go in the, the living room and that, and I see the PlayStation set up in it. I was like, oh, but this is a big man. Man of 30, man of 35, 40 years old. Why are you still playing video games? Well, I'll go to tenants' yards and that, and I'll tell them, yeah, I need to turn off the power for 30 minutes. I'm still talking about, oh, I'm playing video game and that. But I'm turn off the fucking video game, blood. Furthermore, all right, yeah, you might be on. 
on an annual leave, innit? I allow you. But still, big Ross Clark man talking about they're getting a new PS5 or they're getting a new, uh, I was going to say Pro Evolution. I don't even know if they still have Pro Evolution. Someone put down in the comment section if they still do Pro Evolution, uh, still have their video game Pro Evolution football. Um, talking about the new FIFA game or the new Call of Duty and that. This is why certain men are behind, you know. Because instead of using their free time to do something productive and that, they're playing video game. And it pisses Gal off. Gal will come in the yard and hear this. She'll just hear joysticks knocking about and that. My girl, her, one of her exes and that used to be like that. Six hours. And I know, you, this is when you know a man's a serious gamer and a man's on a joke team. You know them man there that have, um, like I'll go in some of the tenant shards and that, and they don't have to say, I don't even need to see a PlayStation or an Xbox. I'll go in the tenant shards and I'll see two monitor screens side by side. I know what that's for. I know that isn't for some big plans to take over the, the world and them things there. I know that's for some video, um, some PC games. I can tell by the hard drive as well. You see, normal people that have got PCs it's got some normal brick-looking hard drive and that. These men that have got the gaming hard drives and that, because they've got, like, the graphics cards and them things there, they look all jazzy and fancy and that. Might have red LEDs or blue LEDs all over it and that. I know, when I go in the tennis yards and that, I see the two, maybe three monitors and that, I know this guy's a joker just sitting at his, sitting at his desk playing video games and not getting paid for it. See, if you're streaming on, is it Twitch or whatever, then platforms, then you're getting paid for it, or you're doing YouTube tutorials and that, then yeah, all right, fine. I allow you, you're getting paid for it. But man, I'm not even getting paid for it. But yet, you're investing four or five hours of your night. Every night. Playing video games. I'm telling you right now, yeah? Man did not live with Gyal. Let's say, for example, I don't know, your girl works a shift where she comes home at 7 o'clock and you're at home at 5 p.m. every day. So you're at home at 5 p.m., she gets home at 7 p.m. Or even on the weekend, if your girl goes out and you're a prolific video game bat and bash out person, yeah? You know, when she's on her way home, whether it's from work, knowing that you're there two hours before her, or she's coming home from the weekend, maybe a little mini night out, you know, coming home at 10 o'clock at night. You know, when she comes home, she's going to think, I bet that motherfucker, I bet that fucker is sitting on the sofa playing video games. And when she comes through the door and she sees you sitting on the sofa exactly in the same position with your fucking leg crossed over one. And that fucking can of coke that's been there for two, 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 three weeks and that. When she sees you sitting in that position, she's going to be like, this fucking pussy. Man, for keeping themselves busy, blood. Be more useful. Stop playing fucking video games, blood. Literally, I've had this Xbox since I was um, 15. Since then, since I was 15 years old, 15 years ago, I ain't bought no other game consoles. So man in that time I've had three different game, game consoles in that time, blood. But I go to these tennis yards and that. <laughs> and I'll see man walking around in a PlayStation t-shirt and I was like, oh my days. Like it, it's, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Don't get it too soon. When I was younger, uh, like, th th this is why like, I find this stuff quite strange to me as well. Because obviously. Growing up a certain way, like I never see my stepdad cry. I see my stepdad work. I see my stepdad uh, know how to cook and clean and that. I, I never see my stepdad sitting around playing video games and that. Don't get it twisted. I think my stepdad bought me a, a Nintendo 64 when I was like four or five years old. That's how you know man's old right now. Yeah, certain people don't even know. Certain people watching this right now don't even know what Nintendo 64 is. Certain people watching this right now. I've never played a Nintendo 64. That's how I know you're a new you out here. Yeah? Man, old school, man, real 90s baby out here, innit? Um, when I first got the Nintendo 64, my stepdad would play me. I walk my ass at um, Mario Kart every now and then I'll beat him and that. And when I got a PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 1, PS1, I had Tekken 2. Me and my stepdad would play it and that. But other than that, my stepdad didn't own his own game console. 
I didn't come home from school or when he's back from work. See him there, just him and his friends and that. Furthermore, there's certain man, like I said, there's certain man that just sit on their own and play a game. Not even when they're brethren, because I get it. Certain man might have a couple of their brethren come over on a Friday or Saturday or Sunday or whatever, and they say, yeah, you know, bang on the, the Pro Evolution or the FIFA or whatever, innit? All right, cool. But there's certain man, they're just sitting there on their own, in their own world. The fucking bailers could be at the front door. And they wouldn't even know. They're just so engrossed in the game and that. Man, them need to become more useful around the house and put down the fucking video game. But it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. There's man that's raw. See, this is why a lot of men struggle with girl as well. Come man don't even go out and socialise. Certain people, their socialisation is talking to man in different countries and that. Yeah, with his, 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 his headset. Man, they stutter on that one still, innit? Don't kill me in the comment section, please. I lie. Um, certain man, their social, their social time is talking to other people in a different country that they've never seen face to face. I've had it before. Try and invite man out to this function. Ah, oh, I'm playing game and that. All right, cool. Leave, it, leave him to it. Leave him to it. Man, they need to be more useful around the house. There's certain man, they don't even know. They don't even know how to give their girl a jump start. They wouldn't even know what to do. They could have jump leads in front of them. They wouldn't even know where to connect up the jump leads to. They wouldn't even know how to jump start their girl's car. One time my girl's car wasn't starting. I think it was something to do with a battery or something. I didn't even have no jump leads. Obviously, I'm an electrician, so I'm a bit more savvy. But I didn't even use jump leads to start my girl's car. I used electrical wire. It's not even made for that. I still jump started her car and she was trying to start it and it wasn't starting and she wanted to get out like, nah, keep going, keep going. Eventually got the car started. This man out here. I've had to bail man out. A couple of different men. Their, their boiler's not working. Um, or they're not getting no hot water in that. There's some man don't even know what to do in them situations. I'm about to be on the phone with a man and say, yo, what does it say on the boiler? Oh, it says this fault code and that. Let me Google that fault code. Oh, you ain't got no pressure. Put the camera underneath the, the boiler so I can see the amount of pressure. Oh, it's less than 1.5 bar and that. It's like half a bar. Well, you need to turn this and turn this and let the pressure go up to 1.5 bar. And now you're going to get hot water and that. Certain man, this is news to certain man right now, you know. And don't get it twisted. I'm not no boiler engineer, you know. I've had to learn this stuff just being a homeowner. You see, when you move out of your mum's yard, there's no mummy and daddy to call no repairman. You need to be the repairman to some respect. You can't call your uncle every time. You can't call your fucking dad or your girl's dad or your neighbour. you got to be that man in the yard. I'm just checking the time up there because this team's going to run out soon. But man, they need to be more useful around the house. If you're a man that phones his friend constantly, oh, how'd you do this? How'd you do that? Come, come help me do this. Come help me do that. You're going to be around your... <laughs> you're going to be inviting a man over to your yard with your gal in your dwelling so often, your girl's going to think, why the fuck am I with you? I might as well just move him in. At least then we don't have to make the phone call and wait. At least we can do things right away. Man, them need to be more useful around now. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, the video's about to cut out. Stay away. Don't know.